kubigisha that's a grace and it's a blessing for someone to be able to preach the word of God. I thank God for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God for the 21 days that you started. I thank God for the days that you started. And I want to tell everyone whether you're fasting or not fasting. Pray these prayers in all power. Pray when you're standing right. As you're cleansing. When you're right. This is when God can hear your prayers. Put aside familiarity. Let's pray knowing what we're doing. Let's pray with understanding. This is a time of rescue. It's a time of getting good. Done. What I want to tell that each day in these 21 days, each day, there is the power of God. There is the answer of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may have spent many years praying these prayers. I want you to know that in this 21 days, in the year of grace, there are prayers raising you and taking you to another level. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I told you don't ask for much. Ask God to open your eyes to see what he's doing. Because God is doing mighty work. God is doing mighty work. If you're having faith, say amen. Hallelujah. God started on appropriate things. May our God be honored. I desire that you're in this prayer without bending. If it's your turn to for prayer, don't miss out. If it's a time of fellowship, don't miss. People of God, do you want to be rescued? Do you want to be rescued? In the spirit and in the flesh. Don't miss in this prayer. These are prayers that are coming back next year. Don't think that it's the fasting of three days of every month. When we finish from now to 17, it will be again in 21st of next year. Don't miss any day. When time comes to come close to the bad days, come more in the holy fellowship. Those parts that say you went there yesterday, don't be so exaggerating. Every time you sit in the house of God, there's something, there's something that is done, I'm telling you, without doubting. And it will continue to be done. How I wish God can give you passion. It can work and it will be done. I thank God for the Holy Communion. This is really lovely for God to leave us Holy Communion. Every day I pray to God. Praying for you. That you have the strength to understand the power in Holy Communion. So that you receive Holy Communion. You receive with understanding. Your life cannot remain the same way. Each day your, your life will be unveiling itself. May our God be honored. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All this was thanksgiving. Thanking God on all the, the, the thanksgiving that I passed. Always have the habit of thanking God like we started. May our God be honored. Just like we have Holy Communion today. 
We are going to study the word, take the power in the blood of Jesus. The power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I want you to understand that the blood of Jesus is still the same. The word of God in Hebrews 12.24 it says that the blood of Jesus speaks better than Abel's. The reason the blood of Jesus speaks better than Abel's is because the blood of Jesus gives life. Abel's blood was calling for revenge. And Jesus was asking for the life that is saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is with us here who is not saved? So that I tell them some good news. If you are in this fellowship and you haven't received Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, raise your hand and I tell you good news right now. If you are seated here and you don't believe in Jesus, Jesus. And you haven't received him as your Lord and Savior. Raise your hand and I tell you where you're seated. I can see all of you are saved, God be honored. The blood of Jesus, what I wanted to say. All the time, the blood is calling for a soul to be rescued. It's always crying out, live again. It's crying out saying, come out of sin. It's crying and saying, Father, I want this life. It's, this is why I died. I want this soul to return to me. This is why the blood of Jesus, even now it still speaks better. Because even now it's talking about your soul and my soul. This is the blood wanting our goodness. This blood wants us to live an appropriate life. Our God be honored. This is why I want us today to focus on why the power in the blood of Jesus. Let's read in Romans 5. Romans chapter 5. Verse 8 and 9. The word of God, Romans 5, 8 and 9. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's own wrath through him? Our God be honored. The, the first power in the blood of Jesus in the blood of Jesus we see surpassing love of God hallelujah, hallelujah. the word of God in Romans 5 8 to 9 it tells us that Jesus Christ he loved us yet was still sinners now come back in John 3.16 Jesus loved you because of the Father, our Lord and Father. The word of God says, because he loved those who are on earth. It made Jesus give up his one and only beloved son. So that those who have faith do not be judged. So that they get eternal life instead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brethren, when we are talking 
talking about unlocking difficulties. We should fight to come back in the love that Jesus loved us. Jesus loved us yet sinners. The word of God is telling us if he died for us as sinners, how much more shall we not have when he has justified us? In this word, there are two major things that we see in the blood of Jesus. That we see on the cross. That we see in the love of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first. It's because we are given Jesus with everything else. Amen. Even if Jews, everything else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell them that in, in Jesus you have everything. You have everything, brethren. Let me tell you the reason you have everything. When you have eternal life, what else don't you have? Did you know that you have a ticket of saying, I'm a child of the kingdom of God? This is why I say saying whether I die today, whether no I'm living or in the kingdom. If you're living, you're in the kingdom of God. When you die, you're going in the I kingdom of God. God. But you see that we have everything. We have everything. This is why we should just worry about it. So that we strengthen in that position. That we stand in the love of God. That we stand in the mass of Jesus Christ. We continue to understand where we got it from. Our God be honored. I always remember how we remember the Liberation Day of Rwanda. It's something that is major that touches my heart. You think of people who gave up their life for this life, to, for this country to be liberated. They are our relatives. They are your children. There is, there is. There are some who died. So that the country is liberated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now in a tangible, the country was liberated. Now think of someone who gave his own blood so that you get liberated completely. You are liberated in the earth. You are liberated in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's mighty power. That is mighty power. When you start shivering and you see a Christian worried about demons, a demon, really? Who did the devil die for? That one was defeated and he was thrown down on us so that he suffers here. Let me tell you something small because why the devil is worried. Do you know why he's worried? He should never make you fearful. The devil was a spirit. Because he was an angel. He wasn't created for the flesh. Today, we know that the spirit cannot work without being in a body. That's why he should not scare you because if you maybe if you give them your body. But when the devil does not get a body of a person, they can do nothing to you. And the person too, when they allow the devil to enter, they become a failure like how Jesus failed. Hallelujah. But you have the spirit of God. Jesus gave you everything. 
It is blood we get delivered. Hallelujah. You know where you got that power. Know who you are. Know that you're powerful. Know that you're someone exceptional. Why? Because of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus does not give that person power. The blood does not give Jesus power. Because Jesus alone is God. The blood of Jesus gives you power. Say I'm powerful. Because of the blood of Jesus. I'm powerful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is it poverty that would remove your God? Let it never happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is it hunger that can remove your Jesus? Never. Is it sickness that can remove your Jesus? We are healed on his stripes. That's where we are healed. Hallelujah. Amen. The reason we go and confuse things makes me when you stand well and you know the value of the blood of Jesus on your life. And you know that you're forgiven all your sins. Psalms 103. Verse 3. I want to tell someone who feels that it's so hard, you feel weak. It says, I'll forgive you all your diseases and heal you all your diseases. So that's the word of God. That's the word of God. Go and see Psalms 103. Whatever the devil brings to you, the blood of Jesus completed it. The blood of Jesus completed it. What we need to know is the word of God. And you stand firm. Then you see the mass of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The second point. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus, in the power of his blood, he removed every curse. He removed every curse on you. Let's read Galatians 2. Galatians 3. Galatians 3.13. Haravugango, Christo Yadu Chungurie, Kujirango, Du Chizgue, Umuvumo, Wama Tejeko, Ahindu Tse, Ichivume, Kubgachu. Kukurjandi Tsquengo, Havumge, Umonhue, Se, Umani Tsquekujiti, Amen. Amen. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hung on a pole. Amen. If you know the first thing that Jesus hates, if you know the first thing that God hates, God hates a curse. A curse separates you from God. A curse makes the back of God turn to you. Now I have good news for you. Whoever cursed you, there are two things. The one who cast you before yourself. The curse was finished in your baptism. Hallelujah. 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 The one who cast you on yourself. The curse goes around the realm like a wave. Because you are a nation that is a cast. Because of the blood of Jesus. You are a rest that can't be cast. Unless you, when you want to cast yourself, for you to cast yourself, is to come out of the mass of the blood of Jesus. Then you go around things that are useless. There, you pull a cast that will never leave you. 
But if you're in Jesus and you're not lying, the curse is finished. There is no one who can curse you and it catches you. No. No. It's impossible, it can't touch you. Why? When the curse comes, the blood of Jesus comes. It says, Who are you searching for? You curse. Who are you looking for? I'm looking, I'm looking for prophetess and say, Jesus Christ, she's not alive. She doesn't exist anymore. I'm wearing all her cassettes on the cross. I died with all that was reporting there. I lived with it in my body. I lived it on the cross with it. So that they live without curses. Clap for Jesus. Ah. A mother can give you a cow. A parent can give you money. A parent can give you houses. But they will never remove a curse. Let me tell you something else. If it's even your home, where you're born, where you married, and they bow down to idols. I want to give you good news. Because you are facing Jesus. All those sin nature are off your life. Because of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the devil wants to hold you by the neck, showing you your, the, the signature of your family, you only go back to signature when you come out of Jesus. But every time you're standing well in Jesus, signature will come and peep at you. Say so this one doesn't belong to us. You don't belong to John, Peter, and Mary. You're not from Veronica's. You're not from Beatrice's. You don't come out from Susan and Teresa. Hallelujah. You belong to Christ Jesus. You are child born by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brethren, when will you know that you are children of God? All those who believed and accepted his name. Oh, my breath will be finished, I will speak that word. Those who believed and believed his name. He gave them the ability to be children of God. Tell yourself I'm a child of God. I have a beauty and a testimony. Even in the identity of heaven, do you know that you're in the books of records in heaven? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not a book of heaven. A civil records of heaven. Yes. That's how it is. Nothing can change it. When they ask you, when they ask you where is it written, you tell them it's in the book you find in heaven. Read, read the word, the gospel. Read the gospel of John. For chapter one, verse twelve. It's written that he gave them the ability of call, be called the children of God. Now verse 13. It's written by your father. That one was not born by the human passion. They were born by the spirit. Your father is the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. The devil plays around with people. But it's because we don't know who we are. 
After you know that you're a spiritual child, you're not going to think like the flesh. You think like a spiritual person. You'll be victorious in the spirit. I want to tell you that your conqueror is much more. You're victorious much more. Because the word of God is the truth. Wait. Even things that are not yet done. It will be done. Because you have understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You shouldn't move in fear. A spiritual child does not move in fear. Know that the spirit in you is much higher than the spirit in the world. And the spirit in the worldly. Hallelujah. Amen. Adero. Now, if you remain in Gumufumo was not at all curses. There is no one who has a right to cast you under heaven. Right and underline. Whether it's a witch, whether it's a sorcerer, whether it's anyone from any sect, since you're in Christ Jesus, before you come out, nobody can curse you. Because any curse, Jesus wore it and took it on the cross. So that me and you, a curse is removed on us. This is why we are candidates going to heaven. Heaven will now take a curse. This is why a curse has to be removed on us. Hallelujah. If you hire what I'm saying, say amen. Our God be honored. The second point. The power of the blood of Jesus brings us in intimacy. Intimacy with God. In fellowship, in fellowship with God. Hallelujah. Amen. In the fellowship with God. A sin. What the sin does, number one, it removes in fellowship with God. Our God is holy. Our God is righteous. You can't move with sin. God cannot. When you're in sin, you can't fellowship with God. When you're out of sin, you can't fellowship with God. This is why Jesus removed all your sins. Hallelujah. So that you can have fellowship with God. He removed all your sins. Our God be honored. Now let's read in John. 14 23 John 14 23 Yesu aramusubiza ati Umuntu nankunda azitondera ijambo ryanje Na data azamukunda Tuzaza hwari tugumane nawe amen Hallelujah Jesus replied Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching My father will love them and we will come to to them and make our home with them Amen Hallelujah Ahangaha Haravugango, obey my teaching. Garikomiyanja Haravugango, man love me, he will keep my words. Amen. And my father will love him. And we will come unto him and make our, make our abode with him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni we tondera magambo yanji. If you keep my words, now let's see three things that Jesus hit 
for us. The first thing he, he, he revealed in this word so that he strengthens what he did on the cross. He gave us his word. He gave us his word. His word is what? The word is Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see people looking at me. Reading John 1, 1 John. John chapter 1, verse 1. See what it tells you. You see that you sleep with the word. You move with Jesus in the phone. You live with him in the phone. You move with Jesus in the bag. John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. That's the word of God. Now. And underneath he's saying the word created everything. Who is that? Who is that? And everything created was created by the word. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. When they say the word creates, whose word? Who is the word? Who creates? How I wish you can catch that. You can know the Bible that I move with my phone with. It's Jesus that I'm moving with. Jesus, yo. We are always moving Jesus night and day. When you go to sleep, you put Jesus on your bedside. Then demons start strangling you. Your head is here. The demon is strangling yes, you. Jesus is here. Because Jesus can never mix himself. The one who loved my word and implements it. Amen. That one the Father will love. Love the word of God. Love the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The power of the blood of Jesus makes us live in the word of God. It gives us the ability to know the word. It gives us the ability to love the word. Tell your neighbor and tell yourself, never spend a day without reading a word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Benedata. Brethren, we are running behind money, yet we have something much more than money. The word of God. The word of God. Let me tell you, whether it happens, say it is written. It's written. You will not say that when you don't read the word. There are some people, even when it's time for the word, they start sleeping. And when they are worshiping, they wake up. When I, I preach and I put in a song, I want those who are sleeping to wake up. There are people who sleep and I said they will also do the things that go with sleeping. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God rescue us. 
Why? When they speak the word of God, you don't know the value of the word. I like it when they are worshipping. It's impossible for you to worship when you don't know what you're worshipping. Everything comes from the word of God. The blood of Jesus always makes us new. We become new in the world. There is nothing else he left for us. He gave us his word. In the world, that's where we are healed. In that world, where we are rescued. In that world, this is where we come out of peace. In that world, that's where we get food. That's where we get what we need. Everything is in the word of God. Hallelujah. 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 When you love the word, and the word of God remains in you, the Father will love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The second point, it says, when you love Jesus, you be careful with his word. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are reading the word of God, and you are not reading just for the sake, you read it because you love the word. You read it because you want it to direct your life. That time you are conversing with Jesus. When you don't read the word, you are like a child who is dumb. Someone who can't hear, they will never hear what the parents are saying. Except if they make signs. Even when you don't read the word of God, no one will make a sign language for you. Because you are given the word of God. The word of God, when you read it, Moving it. Allow the word of God to direct your life. Direct your ways. Direct your thinking. Then you start in the word. Now tell the devil. In Christ Jesus are more than a conqueror. In Christ Jesus are victorious. In Christ Jesus you have no power. You have no ability. I'm filled with the word. Hallelujah. Tell the devil will never be put to shame. Me and my house will never be put to shame. Me and my house we are there to work for him. We shall serve God. And we shall be directed by the word. Now see whether the things that were surrounding you will ever come again. The reason we are defeated, we have no weapon. The weapon is the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, the word has told us when you love Jesus, you be careful with this word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're careful and to keep his word, he will love you. Father will love you. Listen well. And Jesus and, our, and the Father, our Father, they will come. Both of them, they will come together. They will come to you. They will live with you. They will live with you. Hallelujah. Now tell me which spirit can come to you. You're with your father, Jesus. You are the father of all. They all come to live with you. Tell those peritos. All, all authorities, I don't know how they call all the armies. I don't know how they call legions. Call the legions of the devil. Now I'm with you. I'm with Jesus and the Father. Now come, let me see what you pass. Let me see what you do. Whether it's in your work. You go with your bold chest. 
word. You are with your father. You are with Jesus. You are with the Holy Spirit. They never live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are making you poor. poor. They can't. They can't try. I'm with Jesus and his father, the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. All that we are given because we love the word of God. And we implement it. Then we have fellowship with you. Now let me give you the, a good word which will move in all the time. Corinthians 6 6. 6 Second Corinthians 6 16. 16. Listen. Those who can read, let's read together. What agreement does God's temple have with idols? For we are the temple of the living God. Say, I am a temple of the living God. Not like how prophets say. Not like the writers. Just like God said, I'll dwell in them. I will walk among them. I will be their God. And they shall be my people. Amen. God will not sit with you, live in you when you're seated in the church. Only when you're in the prayer room. Oh, yeah. No. I will dwell in them. I will move in them. I move with them. Never mix the temple of God. Never mix the temple of God. God wants to dwell in you. God wants to move in you. Don't mix in with other things that don't match with it. Hallelujah. There we are given by the power of the blood of Jesus. The last one as we conclude. The blood of Jesus Christ. It gives you authority to go above the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have power above the devil. Tell your neighbor. And say, I also have power above the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's given by the blood of Jesus. Now that you're saved, whether they take you to surgery and they, you have surgery, nothing can remove the blood of Jesus. Of Impossible. Except if you go and see. That's the only way Jesus gives you his birth. Until today. Where you're standing in the word of God. The blood of Jesus Christ. Is on you. It gives you strength. Which means because of that power. Once I had a chance. You are bad. You are bad. The devil, you have power above the devil and demons. Amen. Now stand up and pray. That's sufficient. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you one last one. Romans 16. Romans 16. Take it wherever you go. 20. Wherever you go. It says now.
says those who stand and have it very near the God of Shalom Amen. is will soon crush Satan you didn't hear it now the God of Shalom will soon crush Satan under your feet Amen and may that grace of our Lord Jesus Christ may the grace of our Lord Jesus Yeshua be with you what can we pray for now what can you pray for now raise your hands and say God I thank you for your crushing the devil under my feet I thank you for the blood of Jesus you gave me strength to crush the satan you gave me power to crush the devil under my feet there there there, there. There you are, it's going to be crushed. That's why it's going to be crushed. And you've done it quickly. You're breaking him down. Under my feet. There's no reason to fear. There's no reason to hold fear. The blood of Jesus. We are powerful. In the blood of Jesus. We are lovers of God. We are victorious much more. Clap for the Lord. Amen. Amen. May Jesus bless you. You may sit down. Now you know the power and the blood of Jesus. This is why we should never miss Holy Communion. Because in Holy Communion, the covenant that we receive in the blood of Jesus, it's renewed. It becomes new. And the blood of Jesus has power in our life. We are coming close to Holy Communion. Holy Communion is different from Kiddush. You know that Kiddush is taken by all of us, including the children. Saved and not saved. But this Holy Communion is special. It's only for those who have a covenant with Jesus. Those who receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And they are baptized in holy in deep water. If you're not yet baptized in deep water, whether you receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, you're not allowed to come close to the Holy Communion. We always ask the parents whether your child cries. Never give them Holy Communion, please. Holy Communion. We take it when we are cleansed. You have to cleanse yourself. After cleansing yourself, you take Holy Communion without any judgment. Some people don't understand. But if you read in 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, verse chapter 11, verse chapter 11, Let's start from verse 27. Let's start from verse 
rwo gucumura ku mubiri n'amaraso by'umwami Therefore whoever eats the bread or drinks the Lord's cup in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord Niryari urira ku mugikombe urira urira umubiri no kunywera kuri cyo gikombe ukabikora uko bidakwiriye When do you eat the bread and drink the Lord's cup in an appropriate manner it's when you eat only bread and you don't drink the blood of Jesus. It's when you give your little child the blood of Jesus, uh, you've really done bad for the child. It's to come to receive Holy Communion when you're not baptized in deep water. Because you're doing things you don't know. That time you have brought guilt on yourself on the body and the blood of Jesus. See the impact. But a man must examine himself and then let him eat of the bread and the drink from the cup. When you come to the Holy Communion without cleansing yourself, you have sinned on the body and the blood of Jesus. Maybe it happened to you in the past. And even now you have not confessed that there is a day you sinned on the body and the blood of Jesus. Jesus is giving you a chance so that today you confess that sin. Sometimes we, we confess in general and we think all has gone. But today I'm convicted by the Holy Spirit so that you confess the time you had the body and the blood of Jesus in an appropriate manner. Maybe you ate on sin. You ate the, ate the Holy Communion on sin. Now your life is in challenges. You pray and confess. But until now you don't remember that sin. I plead with you in the spirit so that you remember that sin. Brethren, before God Almighty, there is no sin that is not forgiven. It requires us to go before God. And we know our sin. And we plead with God to ask for forgiveness. For the one who eats and drinks without recognizing the body, eats and drinks judgment on himself. On 30. For this is the reason many among you are weak and sick. And many are so always sick. And quite a few have died. Yes. And others have died. And in the Burundian Bible, they said that for you to be dead is that you are living, but you don't, you're just existing. And you see your life never advancing. Everything is twisted. And everything has stopped. And yet you've done everything. It's a dead life. Why? There is a day you received Holy Communion in a non and you didn't confess. Until now you're still receiving Holy Communion. And you never know the sin that had the heart of God. You didn't know that if someone eats on sin, there is a judgment. Not the sin today.
ugachumula kumobili na marasa. And you sin on the body and the blood. Mazu sabimani mbabasa. Ask God to forgive you. Usengu yomosa. Pray today. Ubujibuki. Remember. Ubivugi. Say it. Ubisubira mouga. Repeat it. Confess it before God. Tell God. I ate on your blood and the body when I was coming from sexual morality. I came from witchcraft. I came from stealing. I did it coming from this and this. You know that. Now thing. you have an opportunity now. Maybe your life was coming, encountering problems that you did not want. Now we are in prayers of unlocking difficulties. Maybe that what it was the difficult thing And you did have the problem first. Maybe you betrayed God and you came back on Holy Communion. Judgment comes upon you because you undermine the blood of Jesus. Brethren, you have a benefit. Confess to live. Never do it again. Our God's name be honored.